Well, hi, welcome back to the Mini Machine Shop. I'm Dave. Right now, I'm just going to kind of mess around with the end mill and show you guys how I do drilling and tapping and some of the fluids that I use and I actually want to see the difference here because I've got this rapid tap that uh, it's real old it's left over from my dad he was a steam fitter and so he did a lot of drilling and tapping um, and that's what they used I guess back then but I had found it or just ordered off of Amazon I saw this rapid tap and I said, what the heck, it was kind of cheap, so let me get that and see what it's like. And I like this a lot better, so I'm going to try tapping with both of these and get the magnifying glass out and see if I can see any real difference in the hole. So I want to try to bring the camera over here and get it zoomed in real tight so you guys can kind of see what's going on. All right, hopefully that's in focus, so let's see what we're going to do here. All right, like I said, I always like to use uh, the aqua tap and drill. And so, oh, by the way, <laughs> put this drill bit in here and fired this up, and I noticed the drill bit was wobbling slightly. So I just pulled the chuck out and completely cleaned it out. There was a lot of junks up in there, so I lubricated it, got all the chips out there. I don't know how aluminum chips get up in a chuck in the first place, but they do. Um, like I said, I like to drill real slow, because I did a lot of experimenting with drilling. And if you go real high to RPM and just go into it, the very top edge, all the way around of the hole, is always messed up. You never get a perfect hole, where the wall is just beautiful looking. So, I like to, to do a very low RPM, I'm about a quarter way up on the speed control. And is this guy going to do it? Yep, he's starting to dig in. There we go. Still got food in there. Yeah, the edges are starting to cut now. Yeah, Alright, a little bit more. Squirt. Magic juice. There we go. Yeah, it looks like it's making a real nice hole at the very top of it. It looks really sharp and clean. Alright, get this junk out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks beautiful. Oh, I love it. Take a look at that hole. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty clean. All right, so tapping. Get the drill bit out of there. And the tap. Try to pick a fairly big tap so you can actually kind of see maybe the threads. And now the difference between the two is if you look at rapid tap, it's kind of a liquid, right? Yeah, it just drops and flows. The magic tab. Yeah, I've got a little thicker thing. Oh, that looks like it. It actually sticks, but I'm going to try this rapid tab. I haven't done it in a long time. I used to use it all the time until I had the other stuff. But you uh, bring this down so I'm sure it's in the camera view. There. Put this on there. It's not coming out. There it is. Just real thin stuff, if you ask me. All right, so we go down. I always pull on the handle and then start the hole by hand. Oh, chuck's not tight enough. This is how you ruin a chuck. There. All right. Because if I started it with the drill press, I'm sure it would just spin and mess up everything and not grab enough. This one's pretty tough, so I can't really use the chuck. I'm going to have to use the backup crescent wrench method. 
Wow, that is tight. Whoa, that is real tight. The tapping fluid. Where is it? There it is. Wrap it up. That's really tight. This is nice aluminum. Oh, it's going in, but it's not liking it. It feels like it's going to crack, break off. I don't know if it's the tapping fluid. What does that threads look like? That was the right drill bit of thread, huh? Yeah, it's supposed to be 25. This is 1024. That's supposed to be a number 25 drill bit. Let's read it. Yeah. Magnifying glass. Is this a 25 bit? Yep, it's 25. So I drilled the right size hole, but boy, that sure is really hard to go in. Okay, put the rapid tap away. And let's try tap magic. Does that make it any different? Yeah, you can see it flow all over the place. Alright, cross that branch. A little bit different, but it's still pretty darn tough. Wow, that is tight. There's no way I could do that with a chuck. Well, it's definitely making a difference. It's already through. That was so tight with the rapid tap, I was really close to snapping off the tap. Whereas the tap magic got it through. It was noticeably easier, I'll tell you that. Look here. Clean off the tap. Yeah, this is nice threads. I don't know if you can see down in there, but that's really nice threads. So I think I'm going to just use that magic from now on. Um, and the aqua tap for drilling. Let me just try drilling without any fluid at all and see if I can get a nice hole. Drill a bit back in there, center, yeah. Chuck key, there we are. All right, any wobble? Yep, nice and straight. Go slow. See what it does. I can feel it kind of wobbling around already. Like it's going to mess up the first part of the hole. So far, so good. Yeah. And we're through. And what does it look like? Yep, messed up the hole. Yep, top part is messed up. Quite a bit. Let's try high speed, which everybody else does. that look like? Magnifying glass. That looks pretty good. Very, uh, I'm not sure whether that's just needs to be deburred or not. Let's see here. Deburr that a little bit. 
to you that looks like. Crisis. All right. Diverge magnifying glass. What does it look like? Nope. Top. No. Top is good. Top is very good. Let me double check the other hole. Okay. Diverge that. Yeah. Top is the messed up on that hole. But the high speed work, LD. I wonder if high speed with cutting fluid makes any difference. Let's see. Put it in there. Move over. Come down. Uh, put some fluid on it. High speed. But in any case, it seems like I get consistently good holes when um, I do it slow. Alright, looking at the magnifying glass. Nope. Nice hole. Nice hole. <laughs> Alright, well, that's the first. Usually when I did the high speed, I never could get anything good. Might be because of the bits that I was using back then, or truck wobble that I didn't realize was going on, but that's pretty nice. Alright, well, that's my messing around for today. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later.